the long cut them all still more oh you can no get to it man to the big man are you real Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jonathan Nguyen, The Grind Mentality. Today, we're finally doing the catch and cook. I know you guys have been waiting for the catch and cook forever, but hey, I got busy. I had to catch more fish, we had to go to Haosu, I had to go to Clear Lake and do a bunch of cool things, but here we go. If you guys wanna check this out, one of the bluefin tuna we caught this week. This is the main loin of the tuna. Hey, so you just kinda hang on. When it comes to the outside depth circle, when you gain line, oh, it's a pretty big fish. All right, I'm not gonna, not gonna lift his head out of water. Oh shoot! I wasn't trying to lift his head out of water at least. So you always have to have a second gaff ready to go. Do you just stick him? Oh, 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 oh damn! Dead. The fish fighter and the gaffer. Hi, it's okay. Hey, we got it, Darren. Hey. It's all good. Hey, What's up? Yo yo. Yo yo. yo. On deck. Dude, just like that. Just like that, guys. Another big one. These are actually freaking big grade fish, man. So what we're gonna do with this one, just like we've been doing earlier, we'll tail rope the sucker, stick a sickle in his dome, switch, yank that. All right, one, one, two, three, three. Yeah, another jumbo. So hold it right there. Yeah. All right, it's all over. All right, watch your hook, watch your hook. Two, right, watch three, another jumbo. What we're gonna do of this, we're gonna make some mango poke. I'm, I'm gonna make three main dishes. The first dish is poke, the second dish is seared bluefin tuna with ponzi sauce, and the third one's is just straight sashimi. Toro sashimi, not just any sashimi. Check this out, first off, I always fillet my fish. I like to keep the skin on. Because when you keep the skin on, the fish actually freezes better. It actually preserves one part of the loin. And of course, we don't eat the skin trash. Okay, and what you do is you just trim off the skin before you consume the fish. I don't know about you, but I don't eat the skin. Trash. And if you see the tuna here, check out that fatty content, that light pinkish has that through all his majors and his minors, as they would say on that show that some of you guys watch. What I have to do with this tuna is I dice it up in consistent cubes, about quarter inch cubes. The gist of my ingredients, as you guys see on the side, put soy sauce, sesame oil, sesame seed, um, you put some sriracha, everybody likes sriracha. If you guys don't know what sriracha is, go buy yourself some, right? Some Japanese mayo. I also add some black pepper, Himalayan sea salt, the pink one, ponzu, and last but not least, some roasted sesame seed. So that's the gist, uh, pretty much the bulk of the recipe. As far as veggies, what I do put them, well veggies, whatever you call them, <laughs> I got, is onions a veggie or a fruit? I think it's a veggie, so, well, you guys could comment below, whatever it is. Red onions, I like putting mango into my mix and some shallots or green onions, whatever you would like to call it. That's pretty much the bulk of my recipe here. Um, you just mix it all up and, and I, I, the way I cook is, is I never cook my measurements, I cook by taste. Um, fortunately, I have a decent palate um, and my friends are probably intoxicated when they're eating my food, so it's probably a lot better than it really is, but it looks good though. I'm gonna go and prepare and get this all together. You guys could see that the end results and you know the people here is gonna be the judge. You guys get to enjoy on camera this mukbang or whatever it's called of me eating all this stuff. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so, right? All right, guys, taste test. It's poison. You guys don't want to eat this. I think I'm gonna keep all this for myself. So, and this Japanese. This is your Japanese spicy meal. And they're both pretty bomb. Mm, mm, mm. Spicy. That's pretty good. And standard. 
All right, well done, sir. All right, course number one is done. I'm gonna throw this in the fridge, let it rest, while I prepare everything else. I know my guests want to eat everything before I make the rest of it, but y'all have to wait. <laughs> you guys get to eat once everything's done. You got that? Just put a little shrink wrap on it. You let it sit for as long as you need to make the rest of your meal. That's a good rule of thumb, right? Because by the time you're finished, everybody's gonna be starving. Especially looking at this with the shallots on top. And having a fancy, fancy Samsung fridge works too. I gotta preheat this grill. Not because I have to preheat it, because I gotta burn off all this junk because I haven't cooked a lot of stuff with this quarantine, I'm gonna lie. Not on this grill at least, because I cannot entertain anybody. Well, he's, he's having a, oh shoot, backdraft. I think I almost lit my eyebrows off and shoot. And I'll be like, Johnny no eyebrows instead of Johnny tuna. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna let this heat up and I'm gonna let it burn off all this freaking ash. I'm gonna scrub it down a little bit before we end up searing the stuff, so. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dice everything else up, make the sashimi, and let this thing burn off. Cool. Come on, let's go, guys. When you sear the tuna, there's not very many ingredients. All you need is roasted sesame seeds, and black pepper, and a little olive oil on the tuna, and that's all you need. But what I like to do ahead of time, I pour it on a plate, prep it. This is actually one of the easiest dishes to make, and one of my favorite, and actually almost everybody's favorite plate. It's super simple. Cracked pepper is always way better, much tastier. Next thing, you slice them in a square or rectangular chunks, like that. Same with this one. You get your olive oil, and all you do is uh, some drizzle for shizzle. That should be enough. And what you do is just roll it in it, like the Tootsie Roll. <laughs> She's gonna do the Tootsie Roll. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get it right here. You just dab it. Just go there, you get it, you put it, just dab, right? <laughs> Pretty sure all your kids are good at that. Damn, check that out. Just enough. No winning. Get it. That's his last name. <laughs> yeah, my name is Jonathan Nguyen. So, Nguyenning. And that's it, guys. That's, that's all you do. You're gonna transport this to the same plate. And wait for the sear. And right now, while this is on the plate, I'm gonna cut up the Toro sashimi. I know everybody's mouth's watering for the sashimi. So, dude, be ready for the sashimi, yo. Be right back. Check how fatty that thing is. Booyah. Well, if you guys don't know what Toro is, is the best part of any tuna. Is what you go to sushi restaurants for, and most sushi, most sushi restaurants, you know what they tell you? We do not have bluefin Toro. I have a lot of friends that actually been searching for a place that has it. But guess what? I have bricks of them, man. Just this is bricks of gold. So if you, if you don't know what Toro is and uh, how expensive it is, you know, Alondra actually has a question. What is your question, Alondra? How much is it usually? All right, when you go to a sushi restaurant do, that does have the Toro, some, some places, depending on the quality of Toro, four or five pieces of Toro fetches for about $70 to $100 for, you know, four pieces of Toro. Um, it's actually, Probably as expensive as gold. Literally, this is this is a tuna gold right here. But guess what? We get to eat all you want Toro because we have that for days and days and days. Well, I'm gonna dice this up, and uh, I know everybody's gonna enjoy. It. If you don't enjoy this, you gotta get out of my house, Claudia. 
<laughs> this is actually my favorite part of the fish to eat. Um, it's really rich, it's delicious, it's the best part of the tuna. My friends here actually don't even know what they're getting to eat. You can't get this anywhere, right? like literally. I have people hitting me, my, my Instagram blowing up. My, if you guys notice, I left the skin on both sides. Um, if you do freeze it, it actually pre preserves. Um, it's like a coat, it keeps all the air out as well, even if you vacuum seal it. So when we're eating it, we gotta trim all the skin off the top and on the bottom. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Let's hope I don't cut my hand off. I think you notice right there, look how marble, it, look, it looks almost like a pound cake or something like that. But of course, I don't know what a color a pound cake is because I'm colorblind. That's the bottom part. So fat, it's like butter. Check that out. See how glossy that is? Literally, my hand and the knife is, is, is all glimmery because of that. Butter! So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim all this stuff up. All right, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this up for you guys. And you chop it in blocks. All right, to be honest, I don't think you guys can even eat all this freaking toro. It's so rich and delicious. In comparison, the toro is like a Japanese wagyu. So it actually tastes very similar to the wagyu with the fat content. If you actually put a really fat piece of wagyu next to the toro, it looks very similar as well. Man, I love these knives. I'm gonna show you guys here how crunchy that is. Of course you gotta have fish plates if you're gonna cook some fish, guys. Check it out. Presentation. If you're gonna serve something this delicious, make it look good, guys. Tastes better if it looks good. I know you guys are like, oh man. You built the moment of anticipation of eating this Toro. That's what a plate of freaking Toro looks like. Check that out. Oh, you can eat Toro, man. All you want. It's actually so fatty that literally if you have it sit on the plate, it actually starts melting on the plate, guys. You ever sear the Toro? It's rather frowned upon, but it is very good. Don't tell anybody either, though. I vote for it. All right, let's, let's sear it. <laughs> We're gonna sear it up for, for Mr. Oliver Nye here. I mean, hey, we did it one time and everybody pretty, was mind blown. It's pretty bomb, it's pretty banging. Well, normally people don't have the luxury of just doing whatever with Toro. You know, we could do whatever we want in Toro. I, I, I actually made Toro pokey once, that was pretty <laughs> darn good. Imagine eating Toro pokey, guys. Grill's nice and heated, so hot in her. And remember guys, a sear is just a quick sear right there. You want it to burn about a quarter inch per side. All right, everybody, make sure you don't cook your tuna. You just want a slight sear on each side. Just gotta flip it. Smack it. Flip it, smack it, rub it down. So all four corners. So remember, each side you sear, it still cooks the opposite side while it's on the grill. Make sure you guys, this grill is freaking piping hot right now, man. Literally, my, my eyebrows are almost, my eyelashes and eyebrows are almost gone. So the final step of the seared tuna is you want to drench it in ponzu. Don't be shy with your ponzu. The best tuna on earth. So you want to soak everything in ponzu. Wait, it just actually soaks and absorbs everything in there. And the next thing you want to do, dice some green onions real quick. Get it all up on there. All up in there. And you gotta put this in the fridge, guys. Um, what that does is actually it slows down the cooking and the cold, uh, or freezer even, it sucks up all the ponzu into uh, the, the meat, the seared part of the tuna. And once it's cold, it's ready to serve. So I'm gonna start plating this all up for everybody to eat. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We're gonna eat it. I hope you guys enjoy more when we eat it. There'll be plenty more where this came from because I got like 100 pounds of tuna left in my fridge, or I mean my freezer, both actually. So. Let's get this done. All right, so this, this seared tuna came out of the fridge. Like I was mentioning earlier, you guys gotta put it in the fridge and let it soak up all the ponzu. That's the best way to do it here. 
So after okay. that's done, you dice this up and truthfully, this is this, this is the easiest thing to make, yet every single person's favorite. Hmm. Even people that do not like fish. This thing's in between a steak and a fish. <laughs> Check it out. It's all ready to go. We are really fortunate to enjoy this and share with our friends. It's a way for us to bring in our outside circle that may not share the same crazy passion that we have for this fishing game. But it's an easy way for everybody to get together and relate and enjoy the spoils of war, man. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's that's one of, like you mentioned, that's one of the best things is, is sharing your stuff, dude. You know, like like literally, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna eat 100 pounds of tuna separately or my own or whatnot. You know, I, I always share, share, I ask my friends, go ahead and come over, I'll give them fillets, you know, we to enjoy it. And, and I, I love spending the time and cooking for all my friends besides, you know, people reaching in and eating my food. But you know, I, I love doing this with our friends, you know, and, and they, they deserve it, you know, they're great friends with me. Oliver, all the homegirls. I hope you guys enjoyed what I did here today to show you guys a part of my life. You know, as much as I like to fish, that's how much I, I love to entertain. I lo love to share this with all my friends. So, you know, I'm gonna plate this up and we're all gonna get to eat. We're eating good today. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But we forgot about this piece. It's the Sierra Toro. But dude, all, all, Oliver's mouth is watering. You oh, should see his face. No. He's, he's salivating. He's drooling over the camera right here. Um, it's a seared toro, guys. If you guys haven't had the luxury of eating seared toro, you haven't lived. Here, Oliver. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> oh, boy. Come on, Ex explain to us how, how what the texture, the taste, the feel is. We need to kick them all out so we can eat that all to ourselves. <laughs> it's that good. Hey, you're, you're in luck. I catch a lot of tuna and I, have, I still have chunks of these stuff in the freezer. Normally people don't have the luxury of like trying different recipes or ways of preparing toro, but the last few summers have been really special. Yep. And we've had an exorbitant amount of toro and one day we just decided to throw some of it on the grill because we got tired of eating it raw. Yes. There is such a thing as too much of a good thing. And uh, the Toro is definitely up there, it's but it's possible. Absolutely amazing. And I'm like, dude, why don't I just sear this freaking bluefin belly? See how it tastes. Believe it or not, it brings out all the flavors. This is absolutely amazing. So try it out, you know, go, Spend a couple hundred bucks on some Toro. <laughs> he wants some bomb ass food. He's like Wagyu, y'all. Or hit him up. Or holla at your boy. He might be able to put you on out. one. You know? And you guys know what's up, though. Make hey, you guys. Sure. Hey, everybody. See all this food? And make sure you catch fish. Yeah. Not, Not feelings. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Here it is where it's at. There's, all, there's only a couple pieces, so. Mm. Here it is where it's at. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Okay. Now I see why. Now I see why. This is so wow. good. Mm. Wow. Amazing. I'm just, you know. <laughs> That's the first time Alondra didn't have anything to say. It was just sounds instead of words came out. <laughs> That's how good it is. That's how good it is. Are you so good. 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 mom in Spanish? Look. Yes. Yes. La verdad que paso a paso he disfrutado desde imaginarme desde que cacharon el pez hasta cada parte que aquí mis buenos admiradores este, han hecho todo, todo delicioso, paso por paso. Es la mejor comida que he disfrutado porque lo he disfrutado todas las vivencias desde que lo cacharon hasta ahorita. Gracias. Right, Oliver. I'm not so easily impressed. All right, first off, you, you, you gotta start it off with that piece that you were talking about. That sear is right there on the top. The seared Toro. If you guys surround yourself with winners, you will be more than 
inundated with Bluefin's Horo. Holler at my boys, they'll keep you neck deep in Bluefin tuna, including the Toro, to where you can afford to try things off the wall, like searing the, the Toro. Which is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. None of the ladies have even tried that yet. I have. I have. Mm. I know. I know. No, I tried the Toro. That's the first thing I tried. No, I the Sierra Toro. Oh, yeah. never mind. Mm -hmm. I already had to be. Sorry, but. I, I know Claudia already rated. Jenny already rated that. No, for hey, sure. Hey, he's smart. They were like. Alright, what? Alright, what next? Next, next, Oliver. Alright, <laughs> what are you gonna try next in here? Let's try uh some of the poke. Poke. Mm-hmm. On point. That's legit. Let's try some of the spicy version. Mm. The spicy Japanese mayo. mayo. Oh, I'm on point. Woo, it's spicy. Mm. This, this, there's really no words that does this justice. Like, you guys are probably gonna see a 10 minute video that took four hours to prep, cook, or cook and prepare. Uh, but you don't see all the hard work that went into leading up to this moment, including procuring yeah. your fish. And I just feel like we live in an age where people are so disconnected from what they're eating mm -hmm. that if you have the opportunity to go out there and source your own food and have a blast doing it and being able to share it with dope people all around you, go do that. Go fishing, go catch a big fish, take care of it, Treat it with a lot of respect mm -hmm. and uh, invite some friends and small groups over <laughs> and uh, enjoy yourselves. So, cheers to the chef. Cheers! Yeah. Hey. Yes! Jonathan! 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 Hey, and everybody? Yeah. Hey, the company ain't that bad at all either. <laughs> So your mom was single or not single? <laughs> I don't know. This guy. Alright guys, we're gonna continue our meal. We're gonna eat all this. We're done with filming for today. Hey, cheers. Hey, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, The Grind Mentality, Oliver Nye's channel, The Big Bash Dreams, my Instagram, make sure you subscribe to it now. Thumbs up, like, comment. Hey, until next time, we be grubbing, we be grubbing, we be grubbing. You a keyboard pirate, my man, that's how I love track. It's the bitch, you catch fish, get him in the net quick, cast for another stick. That real deal, raw uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. My track. It's the bitch, you catch fish, get him in the net quick, cast for another stick. That real deal, raw uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. Medium light, graphite for the subtlest bites. Some bright blue skies, not a cloud in sight. It's dynamite when I drop, and the school ignites, pinning them down on the hop, cause he's taking.